Thank you. You won't see any incumbents on your ballot for Indiana's next election official. Republicans nominated Diego Morales to face Democrat Destiny Wells this fall. News 8's government reporter Garrett Berquist reports. The Republican Party's nomination of Morales represents a defeat for Governor Eric Holcomb. He appointed current Secretary of State Holly Sullivan after her predecessor stepped down last year. But Republicans say now is the time for the party to come together. Morales beat three other candidates, including Sullivan, to win the nomination. Hamilton County Republican Party Chair Mario Masolamani was the highest ranking Republican to endorse Morales. He says the convention votes got heated but remained civil. I spoke with Diego today, and even myself, I was getting text messages and calls from people that supported other candidates. How, how can we get involved? How can we help out making sure that Diego gets elected? The question now is how well he can unite the party and court independent voters. Morales has made false claims the 2020 election was stolen, and he has previously been fired from the Secretary of State's office. Indiana Democratic Party Chair Mike Schmoll says he hopes this gives Destiny Wells a chance to peel off disaffected Republicans. We need to do what we've always been doing, which is going around this state talking to people about issues uh, that are important to them. Um, there's no question that Indiana has been off kilter. We've been uh, one side of the aisle for a while now. But I think most Hoosiers are more middle of the road. Sullivan will continue to serve as Secretary of State until her term expires at the end of this year. Her office turned down a request for comment on the weekend's events. At the State House, Garrett Bergquist, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.